G'day guys, welcome back to another one. We are super excited right now. We are just we are just leaving. Where are we leaving? Port Augusta. Port Augusta, that's right. We're leaving Port Augusta, so we just filled up, uh, stocked up, went to Woolies, uh, went to the Bottolo, loaded the fridge up, and we are now headed just out of town and we're going to the E P the E P, the E Peninsula. Um, a beautiful part of South Australia, some beautiful stretch of coastline, and I would say it's got to be up there with probably the top two or three sort of stretches of coastline in Australia. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon. I've not done them all, so I'm not comparing it to a lot. But from what I've seen, it's up there for sure. Um, but before we get there, we're going to cut across to Kimba, the sort of um, centre spot of or halfway across Australia spot. So that's a cool little town. Um, and then we're going to go through and stay tonight at Phil Dapper Rocks, which is just above a um, little town called um, Medipa. Um, so we're going to stay, yeah, stay at Phil Dapper. So we've just pulled up in Kimba, uh, the geographical halfway point across Australia. We'll go show you the map. Um, but there's some silo art yeah. here. There's the big galah. There's a caravan park and a free camp yeah. um, at the rec park with toilets and showers. So um, we're not going to say we're going to power on through to Phil Dapper, um, but worth worth a stop over. Spend 20 minutes, half an hour, checking all the sites out. Yeah. A few yeah. other bits and pieces going on too. So yeah. So we're a really good map here, so we'll show you where we're going. So, Kimber, we are now. We're going to come across to up to Minipa, and then we're going to go up a bit further to Phil Dapper before coming across up and cutting down to Smoky Bay. And then we're going to follow the peninsula down all the way through to Port Lincoln, Tumby, Port Neil, Arno, and then we're finishing in Cleve because it's my Nana's 80th birthday. Right, so we've just rocked up to Phil Dapper Rocks. I it was... No, it's definitely Phil Dapper. Yeah, it's definitely Phil Dapper. <laughs> it's like Phil Dapper. Joyce, just question <laughs> my knowledge. No, we just pulled up um, and expecting it to be, it's a Sunday night and we were thinking we're going to have a place to ourselves. Uh, how wrong we were. Oh, the rockies, I tell ya. Yeah, it is Not packed. Even. Um, no, it was oh, it's not even barely any retirees, so no, it's packed. Um, there's plenty of spots, we're just fussy. Um, so we found a spot, loving it. Um, so far, pretty impressive granite rock filled dapper. It's been pretty massive, it's like it's a little, huge. little Uluru. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go for a walk tomorrow when there's a bit more light. Um, we'll get some shots and I'll throw the drone up. Yeah. It's pretty cool, but yeah. So tip, get in early, so you get a campsite. Because yeah. there's some good ones. Uh, there is really good ones. We but really six thirty is too late yeah, we to be get a driving good one in. This time. Um, yeah, we don't normally get in this late, but we just dilly dallied too much. Yeah. Who dilly dallied? Yeah. So our go-to meal when we're uh, running late to camp or we're just feeling a bit lazy is ravioli. We always chuck a packet of ravioli. Good old ravioli. Bit of Lagos or... Actually, I don't I know the brand. I think it's just Lagos. <laughs> it's just Lagos. Packet of ravioli in, in, the, uh, in the old fridge um, or freezer. And then, yeah, when we rock up the camp too late, we just 
billy full of boiling water and chuck her in. Yeah. Bit of a stir through sauce. Sometimes I make it up. Sometimes we just have one in the, in the pantry. So pantry drawer. So tell us in the comments below, what is your go-to quick meal? Love to know. See if we can uh, expand our yeah. uh, our recipe list. Our we um, need to like repertoire. It. So guys, I got it right. It's actually Phil Dapper, not Phil Dapper. I'm so confident. I'm so confident. What did I say? I'm always right. Yeah. I'm always right. It's a bloody always. bad habit, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I can admit when I'm wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong. I know how to read. Morning. We are just wandering around the rock. <laughs> That's a good one. Get it. Wandering. wandering. <laughs> um, uh, pretty impressive. Yeah. It's pretty. Pretty awesome. Cool. <laughs> awesome shapes on it. Yeah. Lots of curves, different patterns. It's very pretty. Very pretty. So Highly yeah, recommend checking it out. You can do a whole lap around the rock, which we're doing yeah. at the moment. And then, uh, which is where the campsites are, so all the campsites sort of scattered around the rock itself. Yeah. Um, so you get some pretty cool views. You do. We just pulled into Smoky Bay, uh, just along the beach. Yeah, nice little wrap. Yeah. Um, yeah, we pulled in, uh, check it out, and then we'll um, power on through to Point Brown. So that's where we're going to stay tonight. So it should be nice, but beautiful here. Really nice. It'd be good with some sun, but oh well, can't change the weather. It's the one thing you can't change, that's for sure. I'm starving. Come on.
would you look at this for a cam spot? Woo. Absolutely delicious. That's what the doctor ordered. So we're here at Point Brown. Point Brown, halfway, sort of halfway between Streaky and Smoky. Uh, Smoky being a little bit north. Um, yeah, there's a stack of cams like, like, along the point on both sides. Um, and we picked the side that was least windy. So, nice spot. We've got a, a, nice self, a, nice little, uh, self, a nice little bit of beach. I got the it sun's out. finally out. Bit of sun. Finally. Still a bit of wind. It's just windy at the time. Like, but, this big jacket. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of wind. But forecast says it's going to die down over the next couple of days. So, that's all right. But yeah, lovely drive in. Uh, you could come in probably three quarters of the way in with a conventional sort of caravan, off-road caravan sort of thing. But the rest of it, when you come all the way down the point, um, uh, it's probably four-wheel drive only. And some spots you might be stretched to get in a flat toe. Um, but it's a nice spot. Um, yeah, you can come all the way down the point and then we'll head back out the other way to Mark. But yeah, look at that. Pretty good, eh? So it's nearly tea time. And we thought we'd uh, show you our curry recipe. So last time we were talking about what our go-to's are on the And one of them is our curry. Whether it's butter chicken um, or korma or the Rogan Josh, we use the pataks. Uh, it's a ripper, we love it. Um, so yeah, we're just onion, chicken, the paste, crushed tomatoes, sweet potato, carrot and broccoli. And then we've cheated this time. We sometimes make, otherwise we're using just a mission um, heat up on the fire. So we'll go and hit up the camp oven and get started. What do you reckon? Yeah. So it's pretty easy. You chuck the onion in, brown that off, garlic, ginger, let that cook for a little bit. Then you add the sauce or the paste first with a little bit of water. Um, and then you add your chicken after. So. Half a jar. So you sizzle that down until pretty well all the water's gone and then chuck the chicken in and then chuck everything else in and let it cook. Read Yum. The <laughs> read the instructions on the jar. Just chuck everything in. Just read the instructions <laughs> on the jar. <laughs> to ask us about why we use a Duri sort of spun steel camp oven over the like a cast iron camp oven. Um, our main reason is weight. Uh, well actually no I lied. The main reason is because that's all I grew up with. The second reason is weight. We've got two. We've got a 10 inch and a 12 inch and they sit inside each other when we go like, traveling and they're still lighter than one um, uh, cast iron camp oven. So. We reckon they're way more versatile. We use the lid as a fry pan, um, eggs better. So, yeah, that's our cool. That's our little, uh, our little trick. Really picked up, but yeah. we finally got the curry done, and it's looking good, spectacular. 
There it is. Bit of extra sand for some protein, but yeah, that's right. I think it's natural. When it's windy at the beach, it's sort of like a necessity to eat at least two tablespoons oh, of sand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you're just not getting your salt intake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nah, it's beautiful. Bit of Greek yogurt to finish it off. Keen as. Let's dig in. Keen as a bean. Good morning guys, it's morning. coffee time. It is, it is coffee time. For those people that haven't seen our coffee video, we use the AeroPress. And we have some exciting news for you. It's exciting. Uh, no, we've teamed up with um, the people that we get all our AeroPress stuff from, Alternative Brewing. Um, and if you use the code WANDERING, which we'll put just down here, uh, you get five bucks off your first purchase. So that's pretty exciting. And then you can get yourself an AeroPress or uh, a Bellman. They sell the Bellmans and all the other attachments and gizmos and hobbies and all that sort of stuff. Nah, they're good people, alternative, and uh, it's all online and they ship really quickly. So, yeah. Look at that though. Gorgeous. Glad the wind died out. for a bit of a drive around Point Brown and um, there's tracks everywhere. You could spend days just following the tracks that are popping around all over the place. So, and it just, they just follow the coast. Yeah. So we've gone from one side and we've followed it all the way around the other side. It's pretty specky view. Um, not overly difficult, but a couple of little soft spots, but yeah, check that out. Yeah, well, uh, Drive around here for a bit and then we'll head off to Streaky. And I think we're at Paluby tonight. So, looking forward to that. Um, the wind's meant to stay down all day, so. so. Thought we'd so you drive past Paluby to get to Streaky mm. from Smoky, but that's all right. It's not that far. It's only like ten k. So we just needed to duck in. There's a Foodland and an IGA here. And an IGA. A couple of a good bakery, a pub, a good couple of cafes, and a new restaurant that's opening up. That's pretty nice. Oh, it's opening up. That's what we're doing. No, I don't think it's open yet. But no, Streaky's a beautiful nice. little town. There's everything you need here. Might attend if you're broken down or need some bits I'm and fine. bobs. Mechanic, boat shop, if you've got the tinny on board, um, EP Marine are here, um, so they can hook you up with all the gear. Um, yeah, so we just got to get some stuff from Foodland or IJ and then um, some lunch. Yep. 
up to lunch and we might go check out the big shark replica. Yeah, so apparently at the Shell Servo, our contacts are telling us that at the Shell Servo <laughs> you've got to go check out the massive shark. So we might do that. Um, sounds pretty cool. Yeah, um, and then we'll head on off to try and find uh, somewhere to camp. Yeah, Aluby Beach. Beach. Looking forward to it. Sun's out. Beautiful. Yeah, it's good weather, finally. Yeah. <laughs> it's a massive boot name. It is pretty big. Big. Pretty big. Pretty big. Stonker. What a stonker. Now you gotta come check this out. We're just tricky at the moment. You can see this pretty epic little beast. See this this pretty little epic. Doesn't make any sense, does it? This epic beast at the local shell servo. So you gotta come down here, check it out. So we've just come out of the visitor centre and the lady in there is super helpful. Like look at the map yeah. she's given us. Circled all the things we need to visit, mm -hmm. all the loops, different camping spots, beach access points. Um, yeah, super helpful. So if you're in Streaky and you're not sure what to do, where to camp, where to stay, what you can and can't do, do head into the visitor centre. She is yeah. super helpful. Um, great map and like lots of details and fact sheets and maps and bits and pieces. So. Recommend. Yeah. Alright, let's go stock up and then we'll head on out to Palubi. What's doing? Keen. Buddy, treat yourself Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, this is what happens when you got to go to the ATM to get camping fees. And they only give you a $20 note, but you only need $10. Well, $10, so we have to spend on something. Yeah. <laughs> so, hashtag treat yourself Tuesdays. Yeah. 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 Look at this! It's beautiful. Weird. <laughs> it's so nice. So you can only camp over here when the tides are the high tides less than 1.8 meters. Otherwise, obviously, you uh, get washed out. So, but yeah, stacks of like well, there's little shelters down the end. Yeah. Um, they're all pretty popular. Yeah. We go find nice. some space. Just us. Looks nice. Water looks beautiful. It looks very pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. Where are we, darling? Palubi Beach. Palubi Beach. What a ripper. It's pretty cool. It's pretty packed down the first end, like where all the caravans are, but that's probably the hardest section of the beach, eh? Hey? Yeah. Um, and a little bit softer here, but not too bad. Not too bad. We're alright. We'll show you. The tide's out at the moment, but it's on its way in. Uh, yeah. Jarrah's had a ball. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful. Sun's out. Bit of a breeze. A um, bit too much of a breeze, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's a bit cold. But it's all right. We're hidden, hidden by the side of the car. But it's a good little spot. Ten bucks a night. If the tides less than high tides less than 1.8 meters. 1 1.8. It's only too on that. They won't let you stay here. So. Yeah. So they say. But you can stay just inside. Like there's like a sort of a parking bay at the top. So there's a few parked up there. Color vans, little road vans were pulled up there. Yeah. Toilets and that's about it. Yeah. Honesty box. Honesty box. Yeah. But no, nah, beautiful spot. Better go start catching, ready for some tea tonight. Ooh, yeah, even, do you know, I even, I even, I, I show you what I bought when I was at Foo Land because, you know, I'm in preparation of actually catching something. Some breadcrumbs. 
I'm really, I'm that hopeful. Come fish. Um, I've got the beer and the flour for some beer batter. So I'm well prepared. That's just one, one final flaw. It's my ability to catch fish. <laughs> oh, well, what do you do? I'll do my best. Another unsuccessful fishing trip. Look, we tried. Now, I'm blaming the time of day, really the tide, uh, the fish, uh, the bait, the rod, pretty much everything, everything but me. The fisher. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, fisher. You were out there too. You went for a cast. <laughs> no, no. I just don't think it's a good time of day. And, and it bait. doesn't doesn't help. The tide's like 500 meters that way. Uh, so yeah, there was a couple of sandy spots that we flicked out for some whiting. Bit squid, but no luck today. So where's tomorrow? <laughs> Luby Beach on a Tuesday night and a nice red wine. Where's this one from? Bleasdale. Bleasdale, Langhorn Creek. Delicious. And the sun is setting. We're just sitting here, just lapping it up. With so, no fire. With no fire. But that's alright. You can have a fire at Paluby, but it was just. We don't have any wood. <laughs> we have a little bit of wood. Uh -huh. We're saving it for steak. <laughs> <laughs> we prioritise our firewood for steak, pretty much. And it was blown a gale before. Yeah. So it's just died out, which so is beautiful. So we're loving it. But have a look at that as a sunset. Bad, not bad. What are we doing tomorrow? Lots of things. Lots. The lovely lady at the visitor center has given us an itinerary jam-packed. Could fill a week. That's how much is there. But now we'll head out to. There's a couple of little loops that we'll do tomorrow. I reckon. A couple of little 30 and 40k loops. Um, with some pretty cool little. Like vantage points, some fishing spots. Fish for Tima. Lock it in. Um, yeah, and then we we might stay out at Baird Bay. Mhm. Mm we'll play by you. We'll have a look. Yeah. We've had a couple of places put down, but the weather's going to be really nice around here tomorrow. Really. Really nice, like no wind, nice. Um, and sort of warmish, like 23 or something. So that should be nice. Um, so we'll lap that up and then we'll try and find some, yeah, some fish yep. to catch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, look at the puppy. <laughs> Big soup. Big soup. All right, enjoy our wine and and we'll do something. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep.